New viewers and long-term viewers alike, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Adobe Audition. Well, seeing as there's not been a significant update to Adobe Audition in a while, and they seem to be adding all the new audio goodies to Adobe Premiere Pro, can I actually make it into my main audio editor? Let's hop in and find out. Now, note here I'm using the beta version, uh, which has some extra features for audio you might not see in the generally available version. But you can access this in your Creative Cloud by clicking into beta apps and choosing to download Premiere Pro Beta. Let's go to Downloads here, and you'll see actually Actually, I have an audio tools folder, so I'm going to click that and that's all I'm going to do. Then I'm going to create my session. Now you'll see here it's inserted everything there in the timeline. It's kind of not what I wanted, so I might just go ahead and delete everything that's been inserted. And now we're going to jiggle this around a bit so we can make an audio first workspace. I'll start by removing all references to video as I don't need them. Now I'm going to drag my sequence over to the right hand side of the screen like so and drag this all across. A little more reordering required. Get rid of panels like color and essential graphics. Change how files are displayed. Make sure I've got the audio bar at the bottom and get rid of the video tracks and just focus in on audio. Now I'll go up to window and open the audio track mixer here. This I'll pop down to the bottom and open up the effects here. Now I think you'll agree looking at my screen, I've got a pretty cool DAW in front of me. Premiere Pro is acting as my main audio editor and essentially maybe that makes Adobe Audition just a fancy noise reduction tool. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And also, if you'd like to download the template I'm using here so you can get this audio workspace for yourself, click the link down below and you can go ahead and try this out and see how it is to edit audio. Now I'm going to put it to the test and see what I can do. So all of my effects, I can add track wide here using this effects rack here for the three audio channels I have. I've got access to my files in the top left, just as I would in Adobe Audition. And if I need to throw individual audio effects on clips, I can just click this effects tab here and open up audio effects to access everything just as I'd see over in Audition. Plus, if I want to do fancy stuff like working with text, I can do that. I can do text-based editing of my audio and I can pop over to Essential Sound if I want to use Adobe's advanced audio AI to update and make my clips sound better. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to drag this female voiceover onto audio track one. And you'll see I'm zoomed out quite a bit, so I need to hit the plus key on my keyboard to move this. And uh, you'll see now this is moving along just like it would in the multi-track of Adobe Audition. And in the beta version, I've got these nice fade handles so I can actually add crossfades and I feel this was a feature that was missing for such a long time from Premiere Pro that really made me avoid using it for audio editing because well hey who wants to throw constant power on every clip and have to adjust it individually it is mind numbing so this is an awesome update to Premiere that maybe allows me to swap out Audition and use this full time for audio editing. There is one slight glitch though. If I zoom in further on this clip, you can't see it when I'm zoomed out. As I move it around, you'll see it snaps to frames. Now, frames are a little bit longer than audio samples, meaning I can't make precise edits. Let me show you what I mean. If I play this clip, 94.3 Royal FM. And I wanted to make a cut there, so maybe I want to make a cut at the start of Royal you'll see how my razor blade snaps to the middle so I can't really cut precisely just before the word royal. I either had to cut halfway through or just before, which as an audio editor would frustrate me. But don't worry, there is a fix to this. On the time bar up here at the top, I can right click and then I can say show audio time units. Now I'm working in audio samples and essentially I have everything I need to make Premiere Pro my primary door and just do a bit of noise reduction over in Audition. How cool is that? And now you'll see, yes, I can work in detail with the audio. I can even scrub in detail as to where I want to be. So this is brilliant. So I'm going to place precise cuts here and here and then hit my V key to go back and delete the silence there. I'll also go in and tighten up the start of this using the uh, C to get my razor blade and the V to delete that excess audio. And maybe we'll just trim it in at the end using trim just as I would in Adobe Audition. Now we've got that great sounding voice over there. What I can do is if I want to crossfade, I can actually do that and it just obliterates it. It doesn't quite work. So what I need to do if I want to do a crossfade, mash them together and then use the gray handles like that to make a crossfade 
just as we would in the multi-track of Audition. So pretty cool there. If you get worried and concerned that it's snapping around like that and you don't want it to snap, you want to have more precise control, switch off the magnet here or use the same shortcut as you would in Audition. That's the S key. And now you'll see I can move this really however I want. I've got full control. Before I add any audio effects to the voice or anything like that, I'm going to throw in a few sound effects as I would do in Audition. So let's go and grab a riser here and I'll go and throw this in on audio track two. And again, I can just trim this to size and get the sounding pretty good. So let's just have a brief practice and see how everything sounds. Royal FM. Okay, it's not too bad, but obviously this sound effect is a little bit too loud in the mix. So I can go ahead and turn it down using this. So I can turn down the overall volume like so. And then we'll just go and scrub all the way back and play. Royal FM. Yeah, I can definitely hear that that is overpowering the initial voiceover. So no worries, I'll switch to P, my pen tool. And then just like I could in Audition, I would go and paint on a little bit of a volume change here. Let's listen to that. 94 point. Still a bit loud, so I'm going to fade that down further. 94 point three. And fade it down even more. 94.3. Okay, we're doing well there, so I can fade it back up when it reaches the end. 94.3, Royal FM. Okay, not too bad, so maybe I want to throw in something else. Let's go and look at my rewinds and see what we've got here, and I can throw this in on another track. It's going to be rather loud. Let's audition it. 94.3, Royal FM. Hey, do you know what? I'm liking that. I've managed to make a jingle really quickly inside Premiere Pro using the advanced audio editing abilities. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'll obviously want to tidy up this excess at the end here. But for now, let me just show you, perhaps I want to add in one more effect and I've only got three tracks. That is not a problem at all because I can go to something like long wipe and I can drag this. Now, if I want another track, I just drop it at the bottom here. You see the dead space down here and boom, it's going to make me a new track that I can then expand in size. And we've also got the mix track down here as we'd have in Audition, which allows us to essentially mix everything together. And you'll see this over here in the effects rack. We've got uh, the added track four, but we've also got our mix track at the end as well. We'll get into this effects rack in just a moment. Works the same as the effects rack. It's actually the audio track mixer in Premiere, but it's the same as the effects rack. Okay, so let's close off this jingle with this little long wipe at the end, uh, and we're going to place that round about there. Damn. Okay, perfect. Now we need to make some cuts. So I'm going to cut off this effect, first of all, here and get rid of that. And then we might cut off the rewind as well here. And let's listen to what we've got. 94.3 Royal FM. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice. We're going to do the pen tool again just to make sure we tidy up some of the volume levels on this so that we're not overpowering the voiceover. And we'll fade this in a little bit. Maybe fade that down fade that down. And then finally, at the end, I actually want this effect to end quicker. So I'm going to trim it in and I'm going to use that really handy dandy uh, crossfade that's new in Premiere Pro Beta to fade this out at the end. Sounding really good. Royal FM. Now, obviously, we're going to level out the voice at the moment because it could be louder and better. But I'm just going to place a fade in here on the voiceover, just as I would on Audition to make everything tidy like so. Let's play. 94.3. Royal FM. Okay, that's really nice. If I feel like audio track three is a little bit loud in the mix, no problem. I can turn it down on the fader here. Let's have a listen. Point three, Royal FM. Point three, Royal FM. Maybe turn that down a little bit more. And you can see, we can see all our levels at the bottom along here, but we can also see them individually on the mixer view there. Royal FM. Okay, that's feeling really, really good. I'm impressed with the ability to, um, to do things so quickly in Premiere. Uh, and the fact that I can solo and mute tracks as I wish. 94.3. So I can go back to the solo. Okay, everything's looking good here, but maybe I want to differentiate tracks. So I'm going to rename this to VO and the others to SFX. And then I want the voice to maybe be in green, but I'd like the sound effects to be in a different color. Right click them, label, and let's make the sound effects rose. Oh, how beautiful is that? Now I've got a really pretty looking display as well. So finally, to finish up here, we're going to use our effects rack. These are track wide effects racks we can also place on individual effects so let's do both and we're going to do it only 
only to the voice for now, so I'm going to place on what I usually would in audition, a very basic vocal processing chain, just to make the voiceover pop out a little bit more. So we'll start off by going to Filter and EQ, and we'll go to Parametric Equalizer here, and then we'll double click to open it up, and uh, I'm going to be lazy right now and just click Vocal Enhancer. 94.3 Royal FM. Now I'd advise dialing this EQ in further to the particular voice you're working with, but Vocal Enhancer will do a pretty decent job to get started with. I can then go in and maybe go to Amplitude and Compression, add in the Dynamics effect. We'll double click that to pull that up. Again, audio looking exactly the same as in Adobe Audition. I'll compress it a little bit. I'll crank up the ratio, turn the release and attack right the way down, crank the makeup gain up a bit, and switch on the limiter to make sure we're not peaking. 94.3 Royal FM. I think we can get away with a further volume boost there. 94.3 Royal FM. Okay, that's sounding really, really good. Finally, I want to add individual effects to both voiceovers, so let's go to the Effects tab that I've got up here in the top left, and let's search for some of my faves. So let's go for Scientific Filter. This is an awesome one. We'll drag that onto here. Now, if I want to change that scientific filter and put a specific effect on it, we'll go to Effect Controls for that clip, and you'll see Scientific Filter appears just for that single clip. We edit it, and there we go. We've got the Scientific Filter just as you'd see in Audition, and I really love the preset Drop Off Below 250 Hertz. Let's listen to that. 94.3 Royal FM. So you hear just a higher kind of EQ on that voice. It pops it out a bit more. And again, we'll do the same on this second clip. You'll see there's no effect on it right now. And we're just going to add a little bit of chorus because chorus is always good. Go to Effect Controls, edit it, and then we can really play around. Now we could use whatever we want. Let's just go for Smooth Chorus, audition that. Royal FM. That sounds epic and within moments we've added all the effects that we need on our jingle and we have a finished product that sounds like this. 94.3 Royal FM And that was done just very quickly in Adobe Premiere Pro. Throw a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this, if you want to grab the workspace that I've set up so maybe you can transition to editing all your audio in Adobe Premiere Pro, go and grab it using the link down below and answer me this question really truthfully and honestly in the comments. Is Adobe Audition becoming redundant? I know it's a controversial thing to say, especially on my channel that has made its name over the past couple of decades teaching Adobe Audition. But I really see that Adobe Premiere Pro is integrating some killer audio features. It's even got things like enhanced speech and text-based editing that Audition doesn't have. Is Adobe Audition a dead dog? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know how you get on editing audio in Adobe Premiere Pro.